come in. Please know what you see here is like 2% of what I usually travel with. So if you ever see me at the airport, go to the other line. <laughs> You'll never make your flight, never. Um, again, I just kind of picked up some of the latest and greatest and things that you wouldn't even think that they have invented, but they have. And if you were here yesterday, anyone here yesterday? Good. Didn't matter because I have new stuff from yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Wow. My name is Rodney Melton. Um, you will hear things go off. You will see me go off. Trust me. <laughs> Life is good. They just have to wait. Yeah, I, I started being all over the yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you need to know, good gosh, um, I'm trying out some new technology. And every time I present, I always bring in something new that I have not opened. That didn't thrill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, okay it's thank you. You know, I have to live on yeah. the edge. Yeah, that and is. if I'm going to get up in front of people and talk about technology, I have to be on the same level of fear of will this work? <laughs> That keeps me fresh. It helps me to become aware of all of this stuff. And now we have wearables. I'm tech down, everybody. I'm tech down from shoes all the way to earrings, rings. This thing is so brand new, it vibrates you. So, no, it really, really, like you see me tingle, okay? That's not good when you're next to people, okay? <laughs> Uh, I have your latest and your greatest some things. Again, I have to roll up my sleeve. Yes, I have on tech shoes. Uh, pretty soon, and do not laugh, but you will mark this day to say that woman said that. I will have tech eyelashes. <laughs> I could wink at you, and things will happen. <laughs> yes. I, and by the way, everything that I say is documented. I have it. I am the educator like Spock. I boldly go where no educator has gone before. That's behind the scene of all of this technology. On behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, I am the Associate Vice Chancellor for Mobilization and Emerging Tech, overseeing 50 campuses. We have over 250,000 students who are tech down why? Because they come to us with things. Things we haven't heard of, things that they have jailbroken. Uh, <laughs> and we decided we would take a proactive view on all of this emerging technology. We have a system-wide strategic plan. And part of that plan is if a device comes in we, the system, oh, oh, is this the time? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got in trouble yesterday. <laughs> Can you wake it up? Oh, next year I will. It'll be more slow. Instead of 50 campuses calling, coming, I want this, I want that, I want this. I finally said to our chancellor, look, we can save millions of dollars if the system would purchase a sampling of some of these things, and then the campuses, faculty, staff, and sometimes students can call and say, hey, did you see that new tablet from RCA? <coughs> and we're able to say, not only did we see it, we have it, and we need for you to try it out. And as long as you submit a one-page plan to say what you're going to do, how you're going to measure it for teaching and learning, life is good. So again, I'm going to share with you some of the latest, some of the greatest, and some of the things you're going to go, uh-uh, and I'm going to go, mm-hmm, you're going to say, mm-hmm, and I'm going to go, mm-hmm, and then I'm going to spot somebody in here. They're going to start to twiggle. <laughs> oh, boy, I want to hook up with her, because we need hookups. So I'm going to start you out with the tablet 
we evaluated only, oh, I'll give it eight weeks ago. Whoa, you look at, it comes with the case, you know, and I thought as a teacher, wow, this is a nice case, you know. <laughs> oh, we're in the ballpark here, it comes with the case. By the way, I don't support any, I, I work for the Tennessee Board of Regents. All right, so I'm not with Apple, Peaches, Plum, or Blackberry, or nobody, okay? I work for the University in Education. This baby comes in as an Android, Jelly Bean, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, I sound smart, okay? And not only that, it's touch, it even has a micro USB. And we were like, wow, who? And we said, who makes this? Now, some of you are going to share your age. RCA. <laughs> Go ahead and say the dog. <laughs> RCA in the house. Not only that, the keyboard is ADA because a lot of the technology coming in, not ADA compliant, which means if you are a public institution, you can't purchase. So with this tablet, I, I love this because it's a big buildup. <laughs> Here it is. And the price, $99. Look at me. <laughs> we said $99. Now, again, on our team, we have a team of 20. We have an IT team. We have an ADA team. We have a destruction team. Why? We need to know if I drop this on the floor, will I cry all the way back saying, we can't use these. All right, one more time. Ninety-nine dollars. So go ahead and ask me who, who. I'm from Tennessee. We have something called Walmart in Tennessee. Do you all have Walmart? Yes. Walmart. Really? Walmart. You need to know Walmart has. Okay. <laughs> we wipe Walmart out. Here is a machine, and what is the teachable moment? It's not to share with you run to Walmart, it's to let you know if these machines are coming at $99, oh, this is a big boy. How do you know? Because I have to, oh, that's what I'm missing. We have to have all tablets, phones. I got some phones up here. And we have to compare them. All of the apps here on my top of the line, 8.1, no, Samsung, same ones on here. $99. And if this was Black Friday from last week, it was $79. Oh my God. Oh. Look at my face. <laughs> but it's Walmart. You know with Walmart, you just call them up and say, hey, you have it for $79. Hey, come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I only got a few minutes with you to share with you. We all, except maybe two people in here, have a mobile device that is so powerful you don't have a clue of how it's going to change teaching and learning. That is my role, that is my job, so I'm going to share with you some of this technology. Well, I'm going to try the PowerPoint. We didn't make the PowerPoint yesterday. It's 182 slides. We didn't make it through five. <laughs> Why? Because things kept happening in terms of technology. I started to read, I started to glow. So what you need to see, yes, I have on earrings and I have your new Samsung watch. I love this. This is your Gear S. Look, you know what? You, no one cares? <laughs> yes. This is $400. Okay? I look cool. Thank you, <laughs> I have watches. I've had this one for three years. This one for two years. This is a full computer. A full watch. Camcorder, microphone, camera, heart rate, leg ache, <laughs> I've had this for two years. You will notice there's no markings on this. I got this for under $80. I went to AT&T and said, I want to put my SIM card in. They said it wouldn't work. Look at my face. I didn't even move over here. It wouldn't work. <laughs> it worked. This is 4G, $80, a full computer. 
you can say Google and it'll bring it up. My point, I have the brand new Samsung Gear S. It comes without a camera. You cannot use it without your phone, even though they said you can. Yeah, right. And I can't get to the internet unless I have that other phone right over there. You all should be going, I'll be dog. Because as educators, if we're not proactive, they'll sell us this when you know this has been out for two years. Life is good. So the other thing that you need to know, we drink Jack Daniels in Tennessee. <laughs> Which means that when we test out technology, it might work and it might not in Tennessee. So I always say, I need friends in other places. Like, what do you all drink in New Hampshire? Everything. <laughs> okay, so then I have new technology to come. I always say to the company, you know what? This will work in Tennessee, but I don't know about New Hampshire, because they drink everything, okay? <laughs> so with all of this technology, I'm going to rock and roll with you all, because I only got a few minutes. And by the way, anything that I share, you're welcome to it, except for the devices, unless you're a tester. And if you want to use the PowerPoint, life is good. So again, I'm your change agent, and here is our strategic plan. Let's hit it.
you'll start, oh, let me check that email, let me check this. Oh, I know how to teach with this technology, even when it does not work. So with that, yes, we keep research and all of that good stuff, but I keep hearing excuses from educators saying, I'm too old. Really? Well, check this out. The Pope. <laughs> oh. He's using a uh, mobile device. The Pope. Not only is he using mobile devices, and again, I say this in all due respect, they looked at mobile devices and found some problems that they were currently having, and they were able to use mobile device to help with the problem. What? Confession. Some of you do not go to confession. <laughs> they were able to design an app to turn your phone or tablet into a confession booth. You have to think about that. <laughs> Now, of course, you know it kind of stressed people out. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I want you to know confession went up. And it is so well designed. And yeah, I took it, I went in. You are, you're able to identify all your sins rapidly. <laughs> they align it with your prayers or whatever. They have a, a button that if you need to go straight in for help, again. Can you believe they have a confession app? <laughs> and it's worked. Where are educators with all of this technology? My job is to look at possibility. I already know the problems. I'm old. I've been around a long time. We need educators engaged in looking at the possibility of all of this. So let me just give you a little eh, update. Anybody remember Dewey Decimal System? I just want to, I just want to, I, Dewey died. Google took over. This is our life right now.
No instruction, you will not hear an adult. These are toddlers, twins, they have diapers. Look at the little fingers. I can't get faculty members to turn on devices. Okay? They're looking for that little banana song. We're looking at engagement, we're looking at attention span, memory, and whatever. These are toddlers. And here we go. They found bananas. <laughs> Again, we're concerned because we don't know the impact of all of this, but we do know that the number one item and activity for your mobile devices, games. Education, 5%. And here it is, right here. Now, I know I only have a few minutes, but I have to walk over here because I have to look this way. Look, some of you play Candy Crush and you know it, but you're ashamed. <laughs> Help me understand. How is it that matching colors, like in kindergarten, can addict you to where you play Candy Crush 25, not 24, 25 hours a day? But we can't get our students engaged enough to sit down and learn two plus two. So I had to go and start playing Candy Crush. I got caught on level 92, okay? I mean, I was stuck for like three, four weeks. I got upset. So I went online and I got a cheat sheet to find out how do you get off of 92. I'm playing Candy Crush. I'm connecting colors, okay? <laughs> But we can't get our student engaged where they would want to go and find out, oh my gosh, I need to get off this level. So again, we take that attitude of trying to find out what it is that will have our students walking around with these things, but we're not using them for teaching and learning. So we say yes to mobile devices, and I just want you to read this. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> 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 and that's what's happened. And by the way, that's how I got into mobilization. I was in a meeting like seven years ago. I was late. I had to come up front. <laughs> and then everyone was like this, under the table. And I said, something's going on under the table. <laughs> okay. And I looked under the table and people were texting and emailing, on and on. But we're not using them for education. So this is your classroom right here, okay? And again, I'm going to move very quickly because I have some things to share with you. So yes, we're gonna lead and learn with mobilization. Yes, you have your what? Your cue cards, yes you do, okay? And we are BYOD, bring your own device. We're worried about BYON, those who bring your own nook, okay? So, with that, I want you all to remember, you don't get anything else out of this presentation. Some of you are old enough to remember a bookmobile. A bookmobile was a truck, had 100 books. And then all, you just, on the curb, I'm from Detroit, and you just wait for the truck with the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you remember the boat mobile, okay? Here is an app that goes on all devices. This is one of my teachable moments called Pobo, K-O-B-O. -O. Even if you have a computer, it will give you not 1.5, 2.83 .8, million books. As educators, I thought people would just stand up and go, hallelujah, we got free books because we're educators. People are like, yeah, okay. I'm a bookmobile, curb watcher. And all of a sudden, I have the tools to have 2.83 million books. Well, with that, again, I will move quickly because I need to share with you some items. So take a look at this. I am the 
Samsung Turbo 3000 XI Multitask, a mobile phone with many functions, such as a complete dishwashing function, <laughs> save loads of money on the purchase of a dishwasher. <laughs> and there is more. With the built-in printer, the Samsung Turbo can make a few copies of your documents and photographs. Inflating the tires of your bicycle becomes child's play. You simply remove the antenna and place the phone on the floor. In less than six seconds, your tire will be completely inflated. In places where heating is not sufficient, you can heat up an entire room with the patented heating function. The Susan Turbo 3000 is a full fledged air as well as a full fledged freezer. Let me share with you what these phones can do. Remember when we laughed about that thermal? Some of you had a chance to watch Good Morning America today, where now the images of this little device on your phones will share your PIN number on your ATM. I was so impressed that someone thought how to use this. I'm sorry it's a hacker, but I've had this for over a year. You put this on your phone, I'm able to pick up temperature, gases, rayon, um, thermal, I can see heat. I've had it for a year, and I turn on Good Morning America, and a hacker has learned how to steal our identification. I'm going to hire him, okay? Because, again, I can't get educators excited about the possibility of all of this. With that, I want to share with you very quickly. I love this. This miniature transmitter. All of your mobile devices. No, I am not Dick Tracy. I'm Dennis Tracy. All right. These phones are so dynamic that all of those tablets over here I have right in here. So due to time, yes. Anyone has a blackberry? <laughs> Anyone heard of a blackberry? <laughs> well, guess what? Blackberry came back last week. Oh, yeah. Here's their new phone. It's square, yes. <laughs> and everyone laughed. And I said, a square phone? If I had time, I would want someone to come. It is the best user-friendly ADA phone security, unbelievable, unbelievable. But you know what I have also? You know I have the iPhone, and you know if you sit on it, it's going to break, OK? <laughs> Look at me one more time. Somebody didn't get it. I have the iPhone. If you sit on it, it's going to break. Work with me. <laughs> We have to test out all of these phones. Why? Because it is the iPhone that they're using in Africa right now to diagnose eye diseases. We have lenses up there that you put on these devices. So when you go for your eye exam, you don't go in. You just take your phone, and there will be a device. And you look at it, and it will help to detect eye diseases. Ladies and gentlemen, over here, I have lenses and these phones that are so powerful, other than playing Candy Crush, you can hold out your hand and wave your device over your skin to pick up the first screening of skin cancer. Ladies and gentlemen over here, I have phones, you have phones. They are so powerful. I can use them as a professional hearing aid. But let me share what else I can do with these phones. So again, this is Eye Doctor, and you see over here, which is now out of date, my phone can also take my blood pressure. Again, here it is. Two years ago, people laughed at me. My husband laughed at me. When it went red on his arm, I knew he was having a, what I call the beginning of a stroke, it registered on my phone. Ladies and gentlemen, this now is out of date because you don't need this because I now have a phone 
right here, this is on that Samsung. This is the Samsung Edge. It's curved and whatever. All I have to do is put that baby on my heart. And it's picking up my heart rate, my blood pressure. But guess what else is going to come? Everybody give me those eyes. <laughs> on behalf of breast cancer, they're working on an app right now where you'll be able to take your phone and put it on your chest to see if you have any lumps. That's a miracle. We're beyond Candy Crush here, everyone. And the way they're going to do it is very simple. As we go into our purse and pull up, we always pull up over our chest. Because a lot of people are afraid to even test for breast cancer. It will be where you move your device up over your chest and it will scan and it will let you know if there are potential lumps. You all should be going, oh my God. That's a miracle. Not only that, I have all of your latest and greatest devices. Here is an app that all of you need to download immediately. Why? Because it was costing $12.99. Google's purchased this company out, and what will this app do? Anything that's printed, whether it's a sign, a screen, a book, or whatever, all I have to do is hold it up and it instantly translate into another language. And that didn't thrill anybody. <laughs> Thank you, I have more. And by the way, I, you know I have this ready for you. All right, so with that, and due to time, I want to share with you, yes, I have eye stethoscope. This is an app that's free. This is a game changer, everyone, for LI Health. It's from the Center for Disease Control. And what is it? I love this. Wherever you go, wherever you travel, you touch this app, and in a 50-mile radius, it will let you know of all of the contagious diseases around you, including bed bugs. Remove it. Remove it. I checked. I took stand here. Ebola. I'm here to share with you, this is a powerful app. And if you're teaching in the allied health area, how could you just go past and say, ah, I'm not sure of all of this content. Again, this is just to give you a sample. That's your ultrasound with your phone. Oh, yes. Yes, $7,642. So with that, there's your peak vision using your iPhone 5S, your hearing aid, and your blood pressure, I have all of that, your bio stamp, your dermal screen cancer, and vein finders. This is brand new, coming out. You need blood? You want them to just jab you all the time? Not anymore. You break out your bone, pull that arm out, and tell them, here it is, right here. This is your vein finder. Not only that, this one, get ready, hold the seat, because this is now. This is not in the future. This is now, and this is your 3D printing. I'm in my lab makes ears. Yes, he said ears. They make ears. The invention that we've uh, discovered is a way to uh, print living cells in a material uh, that can uh, be used to reconstruct tissues in the body. My laboratory is interested in regenerating cartilage wherever it's found in the body. The process starts with the scanner, and you can pick up from the, safe. in a chair, and we have a camera. Safe. Like, you want to have safe and safe. Safe. I'm just checking, I'm right? okay. And you can very precisely map out the topology. 3D frame, 3D image. The next kind of key step is developing the ink for this printer. This ink is it actually a living small. ink. It contains living okay. cells. It's alive when we put it into the printer, and it's alive when it comes out of the printer. The real power of the printing technique is that it can be used to make geometries that you just can't make with any other technique. You can make parts with holes in them. We can layer and, and cover and, and put different uh, cells next to each other to create really the complex organs that make up our bodies. And after two months in an incubator, the tissue fills in and looks 
goes white, just like real cartilage. The implants that we're making um, are not rubber or, or plastic. Um, they are alive. All of you should be going, oh my God. You should say, no, Robbie, I'm done. All right. All right. I know we have to be engaging. All of that to say, yes, I do have yellow jackets. Remember, I've worked for the Tennessee Board of Regents. We have over a lot of programs. One is law enforcement. Look at me. Oh, I got a phone that will taser you down. Okay? It is a lethal weapon. So, a lot of this stuff coming out, I have to inform law officials, this is your new smart water. Oh, for security and your wink and your 3D printer building a house in 24 hours, but I got to get to the real good stuff. Here is your new computers coming out. Just roll them ladies up. I get to work with companies as they are in the con uh, concept phases. Look at there. And for those of you who thought, I don't know, Robbie, that can't happen. Remember a long time ago when you had your gateway computer that looked like a cow you can still pay for? <laughs> Did you ever think that you'd be able to roll up a keyboard? So, to see that, she said, yeah, that's a possibility. Not only that, this is brand new. This is so brand new, it's like 12 hours. Check this out. Have you noticed she's in a bathtub? Watch this. It blew my mind. No, that's not <laughs> Someone sent this to me from across the seas um, eight hours ago. I was blown away. I'm like, are you kidding me? Look at there. Now, I want you all to understand something right now. Before you go and say, I don't know, Robbie, I have a device up here that I can make any surface interactive. Okay. All right, did it, that did <laughs> To get to surf. All right, I have devices up here that you will go, Robbie, are you kidding me? But that is as of eight hours ago. I'm mindful of the time. Yes, I have holograms. Yes, I have 3D. I have a 3D tablet without glasses where the alligator come out and snap at you. <laughs> All right, here it is right here. It's a company I can't even pronounce, Neo No No, okay? <laughs> but all of this technology is now hitting our schools, and I have to get educators excited, engaged, and shape it, and to evaluate. The holograms coming in, yes, you can now oh sniff. Yes, you can. You can sniff, because I got it right up here somewhere. You can sniff your device. You want some bacon? You want some bacon? You just turn that phone off and just start to sniff. All right? Again, look at my face. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you use this in education. All right? I'm not sure. The same thing, I don't have a dog or a cat. So when they sent me this, where you can communicate with your dog, bark, 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 bark. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get it. Look at me, everybody. I didn't get it. You can communicate with Lassie. Lassie can call Timmy at any time, any place, whatever. I don't know. However, this is why we need each other. Someone walked in and said, Prop, you know what? This will be very good for C&I, dog. Oh, dog, I didn't think of that. Hey, maybe I'm old. I didn't think of that. And then somebody said, what about your dr drug dog? Oh, who said, ooh? See, I didn't think of that. 
Okay? That's why we have to work together on all of this, because now that we can sniff, yes, and you can have bacon, yes, you'll be able to touch hot, cold, sensory on those screen. You'll be able to eat your phone. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Why? I don't know. I need help on this one. You know, you call somebody, they make you mad, and just chew them up or something. I don't know. Okay? But the technology is out there. I'm going to need someone to help me to think this one out. And then, yes, I have the Oculus. Yeah, uh huh. Right. And I have Lead Motion. If I had time, I would put you on it. And Google Glasses, hot dog. All you know about Google Glass is the woman got a ticket for having them all in her eye. Work with me here, educators. Work with me. There are possibilities with Google Glasses. And yes, I got my little Google Glasses right here. That's why I wanted to bring them, but I don't have time, because I used to have people to put them on. And you tell me. I wink, and I'm not going to take your photo. But this is a computer over is your eye. That is really bad. Okay, <laughs> One more time. It's a full computer over your eye. Look what it can do. Because with these contacts, it reads your blood sugar level through your tears. No more pricking. So again, we have all of the wearable technology, and I have some that I need to share with you. techies. Me neither. And how many of you know about the wearable technology? You don't mind know about wearable technology? <laughs> so wearable technology is becoming a huge trend. You know, there's, there's a Google Glasses, you've heard about them. They're the glasses that they put the internet right in your face so you can literally Google the weather while you're walking into a tree. And they have these Nike uh, fuel bands that they're bracelets and they tell you how many steps that you've taken. And uh, they have smart watches. They're so much better than the stupid watches. And, <laughs> The point, the point I'm making is this stuff is, is taking off like crazy, and I want to get on board with the trend, and uh, so I took a ton of my own money, like $43, and <laughs> I invented some wearable technology of my own, and I'd like to show you what it is right now. All right, so first we have Amy right here. <laughs> that your older aunt might wear at Disneyland. <laughs> but it's not just a regular fanny pack. Look at this. It's toast. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, sure, you can keep almonds in your purse as a snack, or you can make piping hot toast on your hips. You can tell me what's better. And Amy's headband. You see this headband? It's not a headband. It's butter. <laughs> Really? Start to go, or store it. Look at me, everybody. 
Forget smart PJ. I want some smart teaching clothes. <laughs> I want to be able to walk down the hallway. You hold a device on me. It's a math problem to jump out. Of. <laughs> Just in case you messed up and you need to know how to brush. 
and the light bulbs get smart. So here, how many light bulbs? <laughs> well, it's going to take a whole lot because your light bulbs got smart. Remember when bliss was state of the art? The clapper was the original lighting tech for the smart. It let your lights take commands via claps. Nowadays, we've got smartphones for that. Engineers have figured out how to stuff a whole wireless brain into the base of a light bulb. It's possible for each bulb in your house to be on the internet. App on, app off. Why would you want that? Yeah, Smart why bulbs can wake you in the morning, turn on when you come home, and even change color to meet your mood. They can sync up with other bulbs and make sure you like thermostats or your TV. Manage themselves to save electricity, and even alert you if there's a fire, or four crooks when you're away. I tested five kinds of LED light bulbs. Phillips, By the way, they're in Home Depot well as and, and in Lowe's right Christmas. now. So with that, I have a virtual dressing mirror. I have makeup. I, oh, oh, some of you like to plant. We have some ag people in the audience. I don't plant, <laughs> but I got I plant. <laughs> well, what I plant do? So let me know the ground is too hard or too wet. <laughs> Too dry. I mean, you could put your finger down there and figure uh, that out, but no, we got eye play. And again, I couldn't bring the basketball, I couldn't, couldn't put it in the suitcase, but oh, you got to see this basketball. I don't play basketball either, but 9450, oh, this ball talks to you. It's sensor. You know, if I'm looking down, they say, look up, Robbie, look up, okay? <laughs> and then if I throw, it'll let me know my spin. Look at all of this technology. And again, watch everybody scream. You're eating, you drop mustard on your beautiful blouse or shirt. In the future, you'll just go clean, and then it starts cleaning itself. <laughs> <laughs> just to know what you're getting when you registered from the district. <laughs> and again, that technology, on behalf of football, basketball, anything, we had a student to make a smart helmet where when you hit on the field, it will instantly register to the doctor, to the coach, etc. A student. All that to say, anybody like to fish? This is New Hampshire. You are fish. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that anymore. Got fish fine. <laughs> Let you know, get your phone out. Ooh, fish. And fish come up like this. Okay? We got fish fine. And from fish finder, oh, you know I got smart shoes. And baby, they, they come in, in a month. Click your heels three times, I'm back into the city. Okay? <laughs> so again, what's the possibility for education? Think about physical therapy. If I got my shoes on and I'm supposed to be walking and doing whatever, it will instantly let that therapist know if I'm walking, how I'm walking, on and on. Again, there it is right there. You thought I was kidding with the last. There it is. Make sure you take photos. Yes, and I'll have fingernails, okay? All right, you just never know. And to end up, we have 50,000 apps, all of this. I have an Appopedia, but I'm going to end with this. It's my best slide. Yes, here's our strategic plan. Yes, we teach, we have pilots, we got all of that. I end with this. Emma. Huh? Emma.
And when you, and, and by the way, I didn't know that the power 